Hi guys, welcome to this particular video. The agenda for this video is going to discuss the syllabus for your semester 5 BA Honours Economics course, which is Game Theory and Strategic Interaction. So quite recently, which I think today the reading list was updated on the Delhi School of Economics website regarding this particular course. Although the meeting for this particular course happened on 16th of May 2024, but I think there was some delay in uploading it on the Delhi school website. So now it has been uploaded and here is your syllabus. So this particular course is only relevant for BA honors, economic students, not for major, not for minor. And please, uh, you know, be very, very careful about this course. This course is going to be very, very technical and very, very mathematical. In your previous, uh, you know, uh, kind of courses BA Honours Economics had like CBCS or jo purane ke ke three year courses hote the. this was game theory used to be a part of intermediate micro 2 only some portions of it so we did beginner uh, level ki game theory hum log karte the. and uh, then there used to be an optional subject in your later third year which used to come which was containing all these technicality technicalities and advanced concept jo is bar has become mandatory for every person who is doing BA honors economics so this is a technical course this is uh, going to have a lot of mathematical components into it and uh, be very very careful regarding that okay so let's discuss the syllabus so there are two textbooks that you are going to follow the first one is quite popular which is Ospawn an introduction to game theory. The, so the Indian edition 2004 is what you will be referring to. Osmond 2004 introduction to game theory. This particular book will be referred for a few units. And then there is a book Watson, J. Watson. The name of the book is Strategy and Introduction to Game Theory. Third edition of this. This will be these two books you will be referring. So Osborne and Watson. Uh, these are the two core textbooks that you are supposed to follow, okay? So, after having that discussion regarding the textbooks, now your course is divided into five units and in your finals, her unit ko equal weightage diya gaya hai. All the units have been provided equal weightage. So, ek tarike se, each unit has been uh, assigned a 20% weightage since there are five units. There's no detailing regarding your final paper, ki kis tarike se paper aega, but each unit has been given uh, equal weightage. So based on that, your questions will be there. So first unit will, you know, uh, what topics will it be covering? It will be covering complete information, simultaneous move games. So right now you will not be able to understand even the topics because everything uh, is quite detailed. Every word has a different meaning. So I will just... Uh, you know, read them out uh, without explaining too much regarding them. So, complete information, simultaneous move games, aapko padne hai. the idea of dominance, what is the meaning of Nash equilibrium, what is the meaning of mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. These will be your topics. The reference will be from Osborne and Watson. So, from the book Osborne, you have to cover chapter number two, excluding these sections 2.9.3, 2.9.4 and also excluding this particular question which is 34.3. And from the other book strategy introduction to uh, game theory by Watson, you have to cover chapter number 4 and chapter number 11. Here lecture hours, how much hours uh, should be assigned to each lecture has also been mentioned. So for all the units that you will see everywhere, you will see a 9 hour assignment. So that means close to this much weightage has to be given to this part. So this will be your introductory unit, uh, unit number one. Moving on to unit number two. Now earlier may you saw simultaneous move game. Now complete information, extensive form game. What is the idea of sequential rationality and what is the meaning of sub game Nash, uh, sub game perfection. So sub game perfect Nash equilibrium, ye sub concepts hote hain, wo sab hum log unit number two mein cover karenge. And the reference for this is going to be your first book Osborne chapter number five till page number 173. And excluding these exercises, these questions 17.174.1. To 179.3 so these you have to exclude all right and again the weightage is 
for nine hours. So unit one, unit two, same time weightage. Now unit number three will be topics from industrial organization. So कुछ topics जो पहले intermediate micro two course में हुआ करते थे for the CBCS batch जो कि आपके इंटरमीडिएट माइक्रो टू से स्किप कर दिए गए थे वो जो है हम लोग इस बार इन टॉपिक्स में करेंगे जैसे कि कूर्नो इक्विलिब्रियम स्टैकल बर्ग थिंग्स लाइक दिस वी विल बी कवरिंग राइट नाउ एवरीथिंग माइट साउंड लाइक जिब्रिश टू यू कि ये इतने फैंसी फैंसी टर्म्स हैं कुछ भी तो समझ में आ नहीं रहा है बट गिव इट टाइम ओवर टाइम यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस सो रेफरेंस फॉर दिस Osborn chapter number three, excluding these pages from seventy four to eighty and eighty eight onwards. So, इसके बीच में जो eighty one से लेके eighty eight तक के pages हैं वो आपको cover करने हैं and anything before seventy four. And again, chapter number six from your Osborn book, only first two sections have to be covered. So, this is industrial organization. इसको I O B बोलते हैं. This is Uh, can also considered a part of intermediate micro to earlier okay so this is your unit number 3 again the weightage here is for 9 hours now moving on to unit number 4 so pehle aap complete information ke games dekh rahe the now you will be talking about incomplete information what is the idea of base nash equilibrium auctions moral hazard contract ye sab kya hota hai wo sab hum log baat karenge and now you will entirely be dependent on your watson book chapter number 24 25 26 27 excluding the portion on common value auction and then there are some specific pages uh, so you have to exclude that also uh, pages 368 to 73 on information aggregation so these two specific portions have to be skipped again the lecture hours is 9 hours so so far whatever units we've covered similar weightage now final unit unit number 5 it will be about communicating information what is the idea of perfect bayesian equilibrium what is the idea of job market signaling and reputation so all these phenomena many of these phenomena you will be able to relate to practical life some of the ideas might seem a little absurd to you so it will be a mix of both the relatability and abstraction okay and then the reference for this is again from your watson book chapter number 28 and 29 excluding these pages uh, 395 to 398 on reputation and incomplete information so clearly what has to be skipped has been mentioned what has to be covered has also been mentioned and the weightage also here is 9 hours so by the look of it all the five units have been given the same weightage so naturally if we go by you know uh, how are they going to test you based on this paper so in the assessment it is very very clearly written that all the units carry equal weightage so 20% weighted weightage for each unit har unit mein se same amount of weightage rahega same number of uh, marks jo hai assigned hai to each unit नो पेपर एग्जाम पैटर्न हैज बीन गिवन कितने सेक्शन होंगे कितने क्वेश्चन होंगे नथिंग हैज बीन मैं लाइक दैट ठीक है एंड देन टॉकिंग अबाउट योर इंटरनल असेसमेंट थर्टी मार्क्स फॉर योर इंटरनल कॉन्टिन्यूस असेसमेंट फोर्टी मार्क्स अटेंडेंस के लिए सिक्स मार्क्स ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स के टू क्लास टेस्ट और असाइनमेंट एंड फॉर कॉन्टिन्यूस असेसमेंट ऑल्सो फाइव मार्क्स फॉर अटेंडेंस एंड थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स फॉर क्वेज अटेंड असेसमेंट क्लास टेस्ट और वॉट एवर typically happens you're quite aware of how things go here and for your final paper only thing mentioned is equal weightage rahega har unit ka but kya paper pattern rahega that has not been mentioned in the minutes of the meeting so this is all information that is available right now all right so we will also be starting with this course from thursday thurs this thursday will be the introductory class for this we'll having a brief introduction regarding the same and uh, yeah all our courses for semester 5 have started so if you want any details you can uh, check out the links in the description and uh, in case of any queries feel free to contact or write anything in the comment box okay i'll see you super soon in the next video thank you so much